This drawing is from the previous video. It shows the construction of the NPN and the PNP transistor along with the diagram for each and the physical bottom view of how to locate the leads of the collector, base, and emitter of each transistor. And for our amplifiers, I'm going to be using 12 volts DC. Here is an NPN audio transistor amplifier, just a single stage. The 1K resistor is our load resistor, and we're going to be taking a look at the output on the collector. The 470 ohm resistor that's connected from the emitter to ground is there for self-biasing. And what that means is as the current changes through the 470 ohm resistor, it influences the bias between the emitter and base of that NPN transistor. The 100k ohm resistor and the 10k ohm resistor is fixed biased and that is on the base of that NPN transistor. The dot zero three microfarad capacitor allows the audio signal to pass through but it blocks any DC. And we're going to be taking a look at the input signal to this audio amplifier and the output at the same time. Here is the same circuit, but this time using a PNP transistor. Note how the polarity is different between these two single stage amplifiers. Here I have connected a signal generator that's putting out an audio signal of about a thousand hertz to the input of both single stage amplifiers. And I've got the scope probes across the input and output of the NPN transistor. And this is what it looks like. The yellow trace is the input signal and the green one is the output at the collector of the NPN transistor. Now you can see that we have some amplification of the signal, but I also want to point out, notice that the peaks don't match up. In other words, the yellow peaks are in between the green ones. What that means is, between the input and the output, there is a 180 degree shift in the signal. Now let's look at the PNP single stage amplifier. The yellow is on the input signal and the green probe is on the collector output of the PNP transistor. Notice that it looks the same. We've got about the same amplification and the signal here is also 180 degrees out of phase. Now let's look at the output of both single stage amplifiers at the same time. The yellow probe is on the output on the collector of the NPN transistor and the green probe is still on the output on the collector of the PNP transistor and this is what it looks like. They overlap each other, which means that they're in phase at this point. We've got the same signal driving both transistors and the outputs are almost the same height. Here I have connected the two stages together. This is known as cascading. The output of the first stage is connected to the input of the second stage. Now we know we have amplification in both stages, so at the output we should have a higher signal. 
So let's take a look at the original input signal, which is the input at the first stage, and then we'll take a look at the total output, which is on the collector of the PNP transistor. And this is what it looks like. The yellow is the input on the first stage. And look at that output. It fills the entire oscilloscope screen. So this is a two-stage amplifier. Just for curiosity, let's take a look at the output of both stages when they are connected together. And this is what it looks like. Thanks for watching.